Kaylee Chris here with amateur golfer Matt Parziali. Now, Matt, you we talked, you and I talked a little bit about how this was your first time today playing Pebble Beach. Now, as an outsider looking in, you know we always hear things about Pebble Beach is so prestigious, all this stuff. So, what were your first impressions after playing it today? Yeah, the course is incredible. Um, really fun to play out there. Uh, kind of see all the stuff you see on TV growing up. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to playing here again on Monday. Yeah, were there any um, challenges I think out there today? Yeah, it's a hard golf course. I mean, it's going to test every party game, driving the ball, second shots, uh, chipping, putting. So um, the person who plays well this week is going to be on all those aspects. Yeah. Now, last year you won the <coughs> Mid-Amateur Championship, and then that got you into the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the U.S. Open and your experience there. Yeah, the U.S. Open was great. Um, I was fortunate enough to play well there that week and uh, make the cut, and I had a blast competing with those guys. I've always wanted to compete at the highest level. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up, that's always what I wanted to do. So. To have that opportunity a couple of times, one at the Masters where I didn't play as well, and then at the US Open, it's been it's been a lot of fun this year. Yeah. Now coming into this one, what do you think your goals are for the week? You know, I'm not a big goal guy. I just kind of yeah. just go out there and just try to do my best. And I mean, obviously everyone's here to win. That's a, that'd be a stupid goal to have. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, just try to get into my process and do my stuff and have fun competing with these guys. Yeah. We talked off camera just about how you really do try to make it one hole at a time, right? That's your yeah, it's one shot at a time, one thought at a time. Um, yeah, I mean, golf is golf's hard. Um, it can beat you up, but it can be rewarding. You can have fun if you if you kind of uh, just go about it and have a good attitude about it. That's yeah. what I try to do. Yeah, and on your practice round, you're able to go out there and play with friends, and your dad's your caddy, and yeah. so it kind of lightens everything, right? Yeah, I played with three good friends today. Um, to playing with them again tomorrow, so we had a blast, and looking forward to doing it again tomorrow at Spyglass. Yeah, so Spyglass is tomorrow for your practice round. What are you looking forward to that? You haven't played there either. No, I've only yeah. been, uh, this is only my second round in California, one yesterday oh. and one today, so uh, <laughs> haven't been out this way, but yeah. it's an incredible place. Uh, really love looking around and seeing all the areas, so. Yeah, you got lucky, the weather's been awesome too. I know, it's been great. <laughs> it's so. been really good. Yeah. Now, outside of golf, you're a firefighter. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you? Do you do that full time? How do you work in the firefighting, golfing, and? So I, I have a lot of subs. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I work a lot in the winters for the guys when they need people to plow or whatever, and um, I usually take a lot of the summer off. So yeah. uh, it works out well. So. <laughs> this seems like a really weird question, but are there any similarities when you're on the golf course to when you're fighting fire or plowing? You know, doing. It's probably could be opposite. Yeah. Um, Fighting fire, you have a team. We have 20 guys on scene at one time, um, even more, depending on how big the fire is. And uh, it's complete chaos at all times. You don't know what's going to happen. And then on the golf course, you're by yourself, more controlled. Um, but I think that's a good way that my life is balanced. I have two full, full things I enjoy doing, and I'm, I'm very lucky to do both. So, well, good luck. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you so much.